By default, Windows PowerShell does not enable you to execute scripts. Now, by default, all you can do with PowerShell is run commands interactively at the command line, meaning you type the name of a command, hit enter, and it runs. If I were to put that into a script by default, PowerShell would not run it. In order to get PowerShell to run scripts, we're going to have to modify its execution policy. Now that execution policy's default state is restricted, which is why scripts don't run. I'm going to change it to remote signed. That will allow any local scripts to run without having a digital signature. But if I try to run a script that's located on an internet path or that was downloaded from the internet using Internet Explorer or Outlook, Windows will recognize that, consider it to be a remote script, and will require that it have a digital signature. So this is felt by Microsoft to be a good balance between security and convenience. You don't have to worry about applying a digital signature to the scripts that you create yourself locally. So now that I've done that, everything will run. A couple of caveats there. This setting is actually stored in the H key local machine portion of the registry, so you do have to be an administrator in order to change it. If I had run that command without first running the shell as administrator, I wouldn't have the necessary permissions to modify it. That local setting can also be overridden by a group policy object. So let's actually dive into the group policy management console and I'll show you where you can set that thing up centrally. So let's just come into my domain and I'm just going to look at the default domain policy. We'll go ahead and edit that. And it's down under computer configuration under policies, administrative templates, Windows components, all the way near the bottom under Windows PowerShell you'll find turn on script execution. And if you enable this policy, you can set it to either only allow signed scripts, which is the all signed, allow local scripts and remote signed scripts, which is remote signed, and allow all scripts, which is unrestricted. And that's generally a bad idea in any production environment. The group policy, once it's applied to a computer, overrides any local setting. Uh, in fact, if I did apply that group policy and then I ran set execution policy, the execution policy change would still come up. I'd see it, but I'd get a warning message telling me that although the local change had been made, it was being overridden by a group policy, and my local change would not, in fact, have any effect.